All right, now in this video, let's take a look at the color palette feature on One UI 4.1 and compare it with One UI 4.0 and see whether there is any real improvement in this feature. Before we go ahead, if you're new here and if you're into Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications, One UI tips and tricks, then you are on the right channel. Be sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you find this video useful. Now let's go ahead. I got the S22 Ultra on the right hand side running on One UI 4.1, Note 20 Ultra on the left hand side running on One UI 4.0. Now let me set a similar wallpaper on both these devices. Let's open gallery. Let me take this wallpaper. I will tap on this three dots button and tap on set as wallpaper. Here, let's tap on home screen. Now set on home screen. As you can see on One UI 4.1, we have got these bars with six different colors. Now the question is whether all these six different colors picked by the AI will be applied on the OS or not. I will come to that in a bit. Now, if you look at the One UI 4.0, we have got four different circles where the AI has picked three different colors in each option. First, let's compare the color combinations that the AI has picked up. As you can see, they are definitely a bit different. Though each option has similar color combination, the shades are a bit different. Now, coming to the color palette options on One UI 4.1, we've got six different color combinations on one option. However, the way it works is completely different. Now, if you see the top three colors are usually applied on the dark mode and the rest of the three colors, the bottom three colors will be applied on the light mode. Let me show you how that works. Now, by default, we are on the dark mode. As you can see, these three colors are pronounced everywhere on the UI, but the bottom three light colors are not available here. One thing we can notice is when we go to the keyboard, the colors are not applied here. And those three light colors are not available anywhere on the UI. Even if you search it, you will not get it. Now, let me go to the settings and change the display mode. I will set it on light mode. Now, let me show you these color combinations that we have. As you can see, one of the light colors from the bottom three is available here on the keyboard. However, I'm not really sure where the other two light colors are being applied. This is how the color palette is working on One UI 4.1. Now this doesn't mean One UI 4.0's color palette is different. Even though it shows only three colors on a particular option, it does generate the lighter color for the keyboard on light mode. Now, as you can see, I have selected this particular option. These three colors shown on that particular option is prominent on the device. When we open the keyboard in the dark mode, we don't see any colors, but in the light mode, we can see a light background color here, which is not even shown on that particular option that we have selected. So I feel all these color combinations are almost similar on both these versions of One UI. The way it is presented on One UI 4.1 is little different, which shows a bar with six different colors. Now, what I request you to do is, if you have two different devices running on One UI 4.0 and 4.1, do apply the color palettes on both the iteration of One UI and let me know what do you think about it. This is a quick comparison between the color palette feature on One UI 4.1 and 4.0. I feel there is a very minimal improvement on this feature on 4.1 and I believe that on One UI 5.0, we should be able to experience a better color palette feature. I hope Samsung will work on that and let us enjoy this feature right now. Not the best experience that we get with this feature. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the video. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.